Hey Tiger fans, Ben Rosenbaum here inside John United Stadium for today's edition of To the House, joined by offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach Jared Ambrose. Coach, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. All right, you ready to go 100 yards? Let's do it. All right. So, first thing, when we interviewed the head coach, Rob Ambrose, your older brother, mm -hmm. I asked him, what's the dynamic like working with your brother? I have an older brother. Yep. And Rob said to me, you have to ask Jared. So, I'm asking Jared. <laughs> what is the dynamic? The dynamic... Um I think it's probably some of it's sibling, some of it's like any boss, you know, coworker, employee relationship. You know, the, I guess the big thing is growing up, our parents taught us, you know, when it's time to work and when it's time to play and how to work hard. And we've done a good job over nine years separating the two. You know, when it's time to have fun, we have fun. When it's time to work, we work. So, you know, it's what you think it is. You've worked with some pretty good quarterbacks here. Mm -hmm. uh, Peter Athens, Grant Enders comes to mind. Uh, Morgan has shaped up to, in what we've seen from him, look really good. For you, what, what makes a good quarterback? Uh, Skill-wise, accuracy. You know, the thing that you can say about all three of those guys you just mentioned, they're accurate, throwing the ball. Um, you know, leadership's something that comes with a position, so it's not something you, you target. I think you can develop leadership to an extent. Um, they got to be intelligent, and they got to be decisive. You know, you can't have a guy who doesn't make decisions. And, Coach, we've now hit the 50-yard line. We're going to do a little speed round, answer as quick as you can. doesn't have to be just one word, but get to know you a little bit. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. All right, first question. Favorite TV show or movie? Scandal. Travel anywhere in the world, where could you go? Caribbean. Player, coach, another sport. What coach? Or what sport? Baseball. Pre-game superstition or ritual? Don't have one. Funniest coach on the staff? Trick. Favorite thing about Towson? I've had two kids here. Best coaching memory? Winning the national semifinal in 2013. Favorite food? Chicken wings. And last question, something people don't know about you. Uh, people don't know um, my biggest priority in life is being a great father. You know, that's what I take most pride in. All right, let's keep going. 50 yards to go. Cool. So, uh, you've also been pretty successful running the ball. It helps when you have backs like Terrence and, and Darius Victor coming through here and then Shane. Uh, why is there such a big emphasis on the running back position here? And it's slowly becoming running back you. Right. Um, it, first off, offensively, it's what we're good at. You know, and we've been good at it. We look at the parts that we've had, and obviously it's easier to run the ball when you have a great running back and good O-line and stuff like that. But the other thing is, you know, it limits, it, it limits the amount of plays the other offense can run. If our clock's running, you know, they're going to get to run less plays, and that might not be the sexy thing that people want to hear when it comes to offense. But, you know, when it's 18 degrees out and you're playing in southern Illinois or eastern Washington, you know, that works. Right. So that's the name of the game, winning, and we're going to do whatever it takes to win. What's a typical game day like for you? I know you say you don't have any pregame rituals or superstitions, but once you get up there in the booth or you were on the field for a little while yep. too, what kind of goes through your head? Uh, just being able to put our guys in the best position to win. You know, I think that's the, that's the biggest thing for a play caller. There's guys who like plays. There's guys who like concepts. I don't like any of that. I like production. Yeah. And you know, I'm just trying to see what the defense is doing, seeing if they've made any adjustments to how we're lining up and seeing how I can put our guys in the best position to capitalize on that. What's your outlook for the upcoming seasons? I've told a lot of people, I think if we can play consistently, we'll have a good shot to win. We have good players. Uh, you know, we got some skill in the right places. I like our quarterbacks. You know, our, our you know, young quarterbacks are coming along too. And uh, you know, it's, it's a bear of a conference, but if we can play consistently, I think we'll win. And Coach, we've taken it officially to the house now here in the end zone. And what would a touchdown be without a touchdown celebration? So here you go, and you can do whatever you want with it. Spike it, dance. Well, if my father was here, I'd give him the ball. Um, but I always tell our guys, oh, maybe I tell our guys this, that if they get in the end zone, at some point they can kick it out of the, kick it out of the house. Touchdown. Let's take it in. All right. Well, for head coach, or excuse me, offensive coordinator, Jared Ambrose, I'm Ben Rosenbaum. Coach, thanks for taking some time with us. Thank you. All right, and for more news on your Towson football Tigers, take it over to TowsonTigers.com. For Jared Ambrose, I'm Ben Rosenbaum. Go Tigers.